morning, good morning, good morning once again. Rise and shine, rise and shine. It is praying time. Thank you for coming in. If this is your first time, let me know that this is your first time viewing the broadcast. For those of you that are returning viewers, thank you for returning with me to Rise and Shine. I am Apostle Karen Proctor, the founder of this online ministry under the direction of Jesus Christ. The music that you hear playing in the background does not belong to me. I use it to help us to come before the throne of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to thank God for waking us up today, clothing us in our right mind, giving us another opportunity to come before the throne of grace once again. Hallelujah. To touch and agree in prayer with the sisters and brothers. Uh, men should always pray. Hallelujah. Men should always pray. And it is so good. Okay, Nestor, thank you for coming in for the first time. It is so good that when brothers and sisters get together in the spirit of unity. Amen. Hallelujah. It is there where God commands the blessings uh, to his people. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, we're any two touch and agree on anything hallelujah he said it shall be done hallelujah it shall be done of us amen hallelujah so we're going to stay in the same vein <coughs> that we was with the last time we met together which was uh this past wednesday and our prayer point was our prayer point was uh Unity in, in prayer and loosing the band of wickedness. And we're going to stay right there this morning. Again, we're going to revisit that unity in prayer and loosing the band of wickedness. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be reading from Acts chapter 16, verse 16 through 28 glory be to god i'm just going to ask the lord to uh to just cover this broadcast hallelujah cover this broadcast with the blood of jesus cover the airwaves with the blood of jesus uh that there will be no uh hindrance that will come amen hallelujah no hindrance Hallelujah. We just believe God today for a, a mighty move of God. A mighty move of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name. We're going to get into prayer, but hallelujah. Let's just lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's lift up the name of the Lord. For his name is worthy to be praised. His name is worthy to be praised. Father, we just ask that you will cover the signals, cover the internet, God, cover the antenna, the channel, cover the frequency in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, arise and shine, arise and shine. Hallelujah. This morning, this Friday morning, God, we pray today. That you would just do what only you can do. Do what your power only can do, Father. Oh, God, we thank you today. We come before you with a spirit of thanksgiving. We come before you with a spirit of praise, with a spirit of worship, God. Hallelujah. You sit high on the throne. You sit high. You look low. And your eyes are in the four corners of the world. And so, God, we just want to start out. By giving you thanks, we want to start out by giving you praise, oh God. For you alone are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. And God, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, we just come to bless your name. We come to bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah, for you are worthy, for you alone are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just give me a second. We're going to uh, go into our prayer. We're going to read our scripture. Glory be to God. Make no mistakes about it. Hallelujah. 
glory be to God. But I just want to uh, saturate this place with worship, hallelujah, just by lifting up the name of the Lord, hallelujah, for his name is worthy to be praised. His name is worthy, hallelujah, worthy to be praised, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Rise and shine. It's praying time. Glory be to God. If you have your sword of the spirit, you can go with me to uh, Acts chapter 16. And I'll be reading from verse 16 all the way down to verse 28. And it reads as follows. And it came to pass as we went to prayer. A certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters great gain by suit, saying, The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which showed unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus to come out of her. And he came out of her. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gain was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and threw them in the marketplace unto the rulers mm. and brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to observe, being Romans. And the mother too rose up against them, and the magistrate rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into the prison, charging the jealous to keep them safely, who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast into stocks. Mm. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sing praises to God. And the prisons, prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was an earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone bands were loosed and the keepers of the prisons awakened out of his sleep seeing the prison doors open he drew out his sword and would have killed him supposedly that the prisoners had fled but Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm. Amen. I've read for you Acts chapter 16, verse 16 through 28. And our prayer point again this morning is unity in prayer and loosing the bands of wickedness. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Bonnie Cakes. Good morning. Good morning, Latoya. Good morning. As you all come in, please begin to share out the uh, video. I do appreciate it. Amen. So this is part two uh, of what we were talking about on Wednesday. Uh, unity in prayer and loosing the bands of wickedness. Last Wednesday, we talked about um, how James was persecuted. And soon after that, Peter 
likewise was thrown in prison. And the angel of the Lord came in and visited him. And so this morning we're talking about uh, Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. They were thrown in jail, as you can tell by the reading of the word of God this morning, that they were out there preaching the word of God. And this damsel, a woman that had a spirit of divination on her, uh, she was interrupting the move of God by saying, these are the men of God, these are the men of God. And then eventually Paul rebuke that spirit out of her. In verse 18, you will see where uh, after many days of her troubling them, Paul commanded that spirit to come out of her. And this made her masters uh, angry with Paul because they used this young lady to make money for them with the spirit of divination. And when Paul uh, exercised his authority in God to command that spirit to come out of her. And so the people became mad. Mm. The magistrates became mad and threw Paul in silence in jail. The, the rulers of the marketplace, uh, they threw him in jail. They were very, very... Um, very angry because they could no longer get that filthy money. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the multitude rose up against them. And so before you know it, Paul and Silas was in jail. Come on. Hallelujah. And not only were they put in jail, they were beaten with many stripes. They were beaten and put in jail. But Paul and Silas did not allow that to deter them, amen, hallelujah, from serving God. The Bible says many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. And so Paul and Silas, they began to sing praises unto God. Their feet were shackled. Come on, somebody. See, the least little trouble sometimes, uh, Christians, we run into Sometimes we want to throw in the towel. But Paul and Silas was thrown in jail, in prison. They were beaten. Their feet were in shackle. But here is where the unity come in at. They began, Paul and Silas began to pray and sing at midnight. Come on. Hallelujah. They did not accuse each other. You know, sometimes we begin to keep accuse one another. If you didn't do this, if you didn't say that, then this would not have come upon us. But they did not launch accusations against one another. They began to pray and they began to sing. That's where the unity come in. And so even as we come here to rise and shine, it's praying time. When we link up our faith in the word of God and we link up our faith with one another, we draw strength from one another. And even as we may be going through, and even as the, the accuser of the brethren may be accusing you of something, but when we come together in unity in prayer, come on, you know what I often say, one can chase a thousand and two can chase 10,000. And so when we come into the spirit of unity in prayer, the band of wickedness begin to lose. Come on. Hallelujah. That's why we are praying for unity in prayer and to loose the bands of wickedness. As I begin to touch and agree with you, Bonnie Cakes, hallelujah, the band of wickedness is being loose. The accusations that the enemy is launching against you, God will make a way of escape. Come on. As you begin to uh, touch and agree with me in prayer, glory be to God. We begin to 
uh, gets the Lord attention. We begin to get stronger. This is what Paul and Silas did. Hallelujah. Paul did not uh, try to pull a rank and say, I'm an apostle. Uh, Silas did not try to pull a rank and say, well, I'm the prophet. We see that the prophet and the apostle came together. The two gifts even came together. And see, that's how the people of God need to work together today in the spirit of unity and prayer that more bands of wickedness can be loose. Only thing we have record of in Acts 16 and verse 25, it say at midnight, come on, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sing praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. Paul and Silas prayed. Glory be to God. Your prayer and your worship, your praises unto God will get God's attention every time. Come on, somebody. Our prayer and our praise unto God, our worship unto God is going to get God's attention every time. And they experience a suddenly moment, verse 26 say, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors swung open and everyone bands were loose. Come on, come on somebody. As we come to pray, hallelujah, this morning, as we begin to worship God, I know that the bands of wickedness is being loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. Tell even the keepers of the prison awaken out of his sleep, seeing that the prison doors were open. Last Wednesday, we talked about glory be to God when the people of God that was sitting in Mary house praying for Peter. Hallelujah. Then the angel came. Hallelujah. Made a visitation and that the prison doors were open for Peter. And so I believe this morning as we are here, hallelujah, lifting up the name of the Lord, discussing the word of God. And as we get into prayer, come on, I believe that the prison doors are being opened this morning. I don't know what has held you captive. I don't know what has held your family captive. Come on. I don't know what got you bound in your mind. I don't know. Hallelujah. What you may be going through on your job. I don't know what you may be going through in your marriage, in your relationships. I don't know what you may be going through in your business in your ministry, in your neighborhood. Maybe you are going through something in your mental state of being. Maybe you are going through something in your physical body. But can I tell you this? When you begin to open up your mouth and you begin to let the high praises of God come out of your mouth, when you begin to decree and declare the word of God over your life and in that situation, can I tell you, Hallelujah, that what the enemy meant for harm, that God will begin to turn it around. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to turn things around for you. Just like he turned that situation around for Paul and Silas. See, Paul and Silas didn't sit in that prison grumbling. And they had every right to because they were in prison. They were shackled. They were beaten and they were in prison for, for teaching the word of God. Come on. They could have became disgruntled and say, God, how could you allow this to happen to me when I was only doing what you required me to do? See, that's what the enemy would try to make you do. That's the attitude that he will have you to have. But Paul and Silas had an attitude of, of gratitude. Come on. Glory be to God. They were worshiping God. They were praising God. And the, the shackles, come on. God put his super upon their natural. The very shackles off their, on their feet came off. The very prison door opened. The earthquake came. And the earth began to shake. Come on. Glory be to God. I, 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 I say to you this morning, if you will worship God right there in that same situation, come on, hallelujah, 
I, I believe that the ground under you is going to shake. It's going to rumble. It's going to cause your enemies to flee. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. That's why we come today. Hallelujah. And this morning, rise and shine. It's praying time. Hallelujah. It's we call it on Fridays, free flow Friday, where we begin to prophesy. Hallelujah. The word of God over our life, where we begin to open up our mouth and begin to decree and declare the word of God over our life. And I hear the Lord say, hallelujah, glory be to God that he's going to begin to do things instantly for you. I heard the word instantly. Come on. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. So come on, begin to open up your mouth and say, I am coming into a instant moment. Come on. Hallelujah. God is going to do things instantly for me. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So we come to you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. We come to pray. Hallelujah. That wickedness in high places is being pulled down in the name of Jesus in our very own life, in our family life, even in our community. We pray against wickedness in high places. Be thou destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every chain, every shackle that the enemy would try to put on our feet, upon our family feet, be loose now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we are praying, hallelujah, that we will collaborate in the spirit realm in the mighty name of Jesus. We come to touch and agree with one another today, whatever it is that the people of God prayer needs are, we are touching and agreeing in the mighty name of Jesus that every spirit that was like that young lady that came to disrupt the move of God, every spirit that was launched our way, that come to disrupt a move of God, we rebuke it now in the mighty name of Jesus, just like Paul re rebuke that spirit of divination, we rebuke the spirit of divination from all around us this Friday morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we're praying this morning that the captives are being set free. The captives are being set free in our family, in our children, in our relationship, in our ministry, on our job. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The captives are being set free even in the mindset. We are praying for the mind of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. That person that has been tormented by the enemy in your mind, be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. We are set free through the blood of Jesus and the words of our testimony. We love not our life unto death. We are overcomers today. Just like Paul and Silas overcame being in captivity in that prison. We are overcoming today. We are triumphing over the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now that you are putting your angels on assignment in the name of Jesus. That's just like you gave your angels charge over Paul and Silas when they were in prison. Father, we pray that you will do the same for us because you are the same yesterday, today, today. And forever, Lord, you are no respect of a person. God, we pray that you will release your ministering spirits to go forward and to minister unto the children of heirs. We bind the spirit of bondage in the name of Jesus. And we loose the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry out this morning, Abba, Father, Abba, Father. Lord, we thank you right now that your angels are on assignment right now, God. We thank you right now that the bands of wickedness is being loosed in the name of Jesus. The band of wickedness is being loosed from our family lineage. The bands of wickedness is being loosed over our family inheritance. The band of wickedness is being loosed from our blood DNA in the mighty name of Jesus. The band of wickedness is being loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. We are free through the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere we go, we are blessed. We are blessed today. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for hearing our prayer. We thank you for hearing our cry this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, everything that we have laid before you in the form of our prayer petition, God, we thank you because you have already heard us before we could even answer. Hallelujah. Before you have heard us, Oh God, hallelujah. You said that you will answer us before we even call on you. And so, Father, we take you at your word this morning. We thank you that you watch over your word, that your word don't return unto you void. It go into the places in which you sin it, and it does the things in which you please it to do. God, we thank you right now. We thank you right now that our mouths will not be muzzled, that our mouths will not be muzzled, that we will... Hallelujah. Go forward. Hallelujah. With the word of God. Father, we pray that you will strengthen us on every weak and lean inside. And if it's any person under the sound of my voice that need a touch in their body. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for healing this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Instant healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray against that spirit of division among the brethren. In the name of Jesus, and we decree and declare unity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just want to share with you. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. That he gave me. Hallelujah. For this month of November. Hallelujah. A few days ago, I began to pray and I heard the Lord say, hallelujah, that this month will be a month of plenty. Glory be to God. There will be no lack. Hallelujah. For the people of God, in spite of what? Hallelujah. The news report says, glory be to God. But I came to report, hallelujah, the word of the Lord this morning. The Bible say great. Hallelujah. It's the word and great is the company of those that publish the word. So I am publishing the word of God according to what he has given to me. Hallelujah. There's going to be plenty love, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. That's right. Plenty love, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. There will be no deficit. Come on. There will be no deficit in your life. There will be no shortage in your life. Come on. Hallelujah. There's going to be print. Plenty salvation, plenty deliverance. If you were looking for somebody to be saved and sanctified, hallelujah, this is the season. Hallelujah, this is the time. There's going to be a lot of deliverance. If you've been standing in proxy for someone to be delivered, they're going to be delivered. Come on, hallelujah. You can afford to stand on Ephesians chapter 3 and 20. Come on, this is free flow and Friday. God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that work it within. Come on, long as you are in the right standing with God. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to do a shakedown. Hallelujah. What you have been giving out is going to come back to you. What you have been giving out is going to come back to you in a good measure. Good measure. Shakedown running over. Hallelujah. And then the Lord began to tell me, Luke chapter 6 and verse 38. Hallelujah that men will give unto your bosom whatever you have been given out hallelujah plenty is coming back good measure shaking down running together press down hallelujah press down shaking together men will give unto your bosom come on begin to prophesy over your life that you are walking in plenty in this month you are walking in plenty this month you are not going to walk in lack come on whatever you need hallelujah you're going to experience the overflow the overflow abundance shall be your portion in this month abundance shall be your portion in this month come on begin to open up your mouth begin to prophesy Glory be to God. What the Lord has said. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When I begin to think of that word plenty, the word excessive came. Hallelujah to me. Hallelujah. Excessive is a derivative of plenty. Hallelujah. Synonymous. Hallelujah. 
with plenty. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. It may be a shortage in many things, but we flow from the kingdom of God. We flow from the kingdom of God. We don't flow from the world kingdom. Come on. Hallelujah. God want to bless his people. He want to show you that he can get to you what you need. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is getting ready to reward his people. Hallelujah. This is why we must come together in prayer, in unity, in prayer. Come on. Hallelujah. Unity in prayer so that we can pull down the bands of wickedness. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Well, beloved, hallelujah. I believe that I have uh, given out what the Lord has given to me for this Friday. All you have to do is believe and as you believe, so shall you receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible for those that believe. Hallelujah. So on Fridays, uh, we come together on Monday, to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But on Fridays, uh, it's the only day that I do ask for a offering because this is what the Lord uh, asked me to do on Friday, a $7 offering. And that $7 offering is to offset uh, the mission for 2023. Amen. God has some things in store uh, for me to go out. Amen. Hallelujah. And he say, how should they go unless they be sent? How good and sweet it is. Uh, beautiful are the feet of the preacher. How should they go unless they be sent? So your $7 is helping to send me to the mission field. And know that your, your $7 will never ever leave your life. It is on a godly assignment and you shall reap a godly harvest. What you make happen for somebody else, God will make happen to you. And for each person that will sow that $7 seed this morning, I pray the prophet's reward over you. As God rewards me for doing his bidding, so shall he reward you. Amen. I am not trying to take something from you. I'm trying to get something to you. Amen. Hallelujah. I know that this is good ground. Good morning, Sister Coleman. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Rise and shine. It's praying time. So we're about to leave, but you are free to go back and review the video. We were praying uh, unity and prayer to loose the bands of wickedness, talking about how uh, Paul and silence came together at midnight and pray in prayer. And as they began to pray and sing, the band of wickedness was loose from them. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're praying and believing that God will put his super upon our natural, that we will be able to do mighty, mighty exploits in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Sister Coleman. Hallelujah for sowing that $7 seed. And I, I speak and release, hallelujah, the prophet's reward over you. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever you are praying for in this season, I come into the power of agreement with you. Hallelujah. Bye for now. And don't forget to share out the video. Sharing is caring. If this is your first time on this uh, broadcast, we are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Rise and shine. It's praying time. And we are incorporating fasting with this every Wednesday starting at 9 p.m. through Thursday at 12 noon. And also prayer on Wednesday night at 8.30. This is a move of God. This is a move of God that the people of God get together and pray. And when we get together and pray, you're going to see that more miracles take place, more healing take place, more deliverance take place, more breakthroughs take place in your family, in your city, even in your very life, the things that you are believing God for. But we have to condition ourselves to fasting and praying because certain things don't happen 
without fasting and praying. So bye for now. Happy Friday. Make it a good day. God bless you. Jesus love you. And so do I.